Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to unpack all of these little Lethal Cosmetics eyeshadows and I want to put them into these little palettes. Um, I'm going to make a very fall inspired palette and I want to make a more, um, not necessarily a colorful palette, but just a palette with the shades that are left. And I've got some colorful uh, shadows in there. So that is what I want to do. I asked you guys if you wanted to see this on my Instagram. Um, I will link the Instagram down below and I'll just try to put it in the screen. Uh, but I took a poll and um, it was like 19% or something. 90% wanted to see me uh, doing this on camera. So I am going to do... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just hitting the ring light. Uh, I am going to do this on camera because of that. And so, yeah. The first thing, I'm going to just unpack all of them. And then we're going to see uh, all the shades. And this is probably going to be sped through because it's a lot. I wanted to show you uh, the box it came in. Um, it's just a simple box. All the shades come in these little... Uh, bubble wrap thingies the palettes come in these and then it is just packed very very nicely with a lot of this crinkly things um, they also put in the um, new shades from the landfall and Sky landfall and skyward collection very pretty shades i think i have a few of them in this one like Yonder, Eden, I think Pilgrim and Midway. And I also think that Trespass is in here, but I don't know for sure. Uh, it's just in this crinkly thing. So it came very, very well protected. And I hope when I unpack that they are still intact. But I think so by the looks of them right now. All right, I'm just going to unpack them. How do I do that? Open it up, do I? No. Okay, this is a thing. You found a secret area, did I, did I? Oh wow, they're bigger than I thought they would be. Wow, they're in these magnetized little... Dang, this is quality, man. Wow. All right, and this is the shade Fahrenheit. Okay, I'm going to go and speed through this because it's going to be too long. If I don't. Ugh. What I also like is this little thing that it says right here. Kindness is a currency best spent lavishly. I could not agree more. All right, I've got them all out of the packages. I'm going to make two uh, palettes. As I said, I'm going to start with one. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to tell you a little bit more about Lethal Cosmetics. They say on their website, um, they say a Lethal Cosmetics is an independent PETA certified vegan and cruelty free makeup brand from Berlin, Germany. Those are my neighbors, so that's fun. Reproduce professional quality color cosmetics for an alternative audience of ethical makeup addicts. Um, I got free shipping because I spent more than 65 uh, euros on their website, so I got free shipping. And it came, um, I think in like a week or something, it, it came in the time they said it would arrive, so that's very nice. And as I showed in the package, it arrived safely because they packed it very, very well. Um, the reason I made such a big order is because I was just, you can make your own palette on the website. And I was doing that. Okay, sorry guys, I adjusted the camera a little bit more because I was bumping my head on the ring light every time I bent forward and that was going to show up on the footage and that's annoying. So, um, I hope the audio is still okay. I think so. We will see. We will see. Okay. What I'm going to do, I just, oh, I was telling about, um, why I ordered so many shades. Uh, it's because I just got caught up in their, uh, buy up option. You can build your own palette on their website and they have a very nice way of doing that. You see the palette, you can just click on the, um, shade you want to put in and it just appears in the palette and you can jumble them around you can throw them out you can put new ones in 
it's really nice really fun and um, as you can see i got some colors i was like okay i don't think i have a lot of these colors in my uh, collection yet they a few may be dupable like something like uh, this one that's the color cat catatonic that's kind of Okay, uh, catatonic and um, this one I think you could dupe. It's just that I think it would go really nicely with this one, with this one and with these. And these were shades I was like, okay, this is these are kind of unique. So that's why I wanted to get those. And I just assembled, I just started with some colors. I was like, okay, that's the ones I want to have. These, uh, these ones look really interesting to me. And yeah, I want to try them out. And then I was like, okay, then I should have a bit of this, a bit of that. And I was at first debating if I should get the, uh, the colors that were more dupable or um, if I would, you know, consider already having in my in my collection but then i was like okay but i want to make a complete palette just one full type complete palette with all these shades so that's why i got some uh, shades i think that are kind of dupable um but not a lot though i think you can um agree with me not a lot of the shades are very dupable um, as i'm looking in my viewfinder these colors look a lot darker than they do in real life um yeah that's just what it is i can maybe turn up the lights a bit it doesn't really do anything why i'm just getting in the wrong one no it doesn't really do anything when i adjust the light so let's just you know let's just start making that like more full time palette it's going to come in um, i'm going to put them in here but i am going to just see what i want to put in there why i want to put them in there and put them in the order i want them in and then i'm going to put them in the palette and uh, the rest is going into another palette so i'm going to start off with these colors because these colors the green ones are the ones i really want in the um, a full type palette i'm debating if i'm going to put this one in because it's more of a teal and I think these two look very nice together. This is like more of a sparkly, deep foresty green with a teal shift. Ether it's called. So I think I'm just going to wait and see if I want to put these together. Because I think this combination looks really nice. And I don't know if I want that in my full uh, palette. So I'm going to put them here. I'm just going to assemble this one further. This one I think I want to put in there. This one is very full. And this one, and I think I'm going to put the yellow in here because I think that this line looks really nice. The yellow looks very, very bright somehow, but in real life, this is more of a pastel -y, almost vanilla type kind of a yellow. And that's what I thought was really unique about this. So that's why I got this one. I think you can put 12 shades. Yeah, I think you can put 12 shades in the palette. So I'm just going to continue and see what I want in... Um, uh, uh, besides the ones I've already put in this one definitely not this one also no it's easier to get some out no I think I'm going to put this in here because it's very nice with this one and I'm kind of debating if I want to go this route um, I think this is a bit too bland now I think I want this one in though this makes sense this is more um pinkish purple mauve so i think i'm going to put that one in here and this one also because i think this is fun this is a fun combination um let me see mm, i think this is a bit boring because it's all the same colors and i'm going to see i think this one will be better suited with this one let me put this in a somewhat orderly fashion so it makes a bit more sense don't put your hands in there okay i've got two left and i think hmm i'm still a bit debating because i think these two look very much alike but they are not alike so i think i'm going to really put that one there because it's more of a pinkish color and this is more of a grayish color and i think it will go really cool with these colors i don't you can see it if i do it like this i think this color will combine really nicely with these and with these so that's why i'm going to leave it here and i think this is just this really yeah i think this is going to fit this really well 
I'm just debating if I should put this. It's like you've got a deeper purpley or a deeper... This is more plum and this is more of oxblood color, I think. And this, I think this will be more of a fall type of thing. And I think if I look at the colors and the mauveiness and the plumness and the pinkness, this is going to be going to get a bit better. Mm, and I'm really, I think I'm going to put this orange in here as well because it has more of a pop than some of these because it's getting a little, I wouldn't say boring, but hmm, it's a bit difficult because, you know, this is a very fun combination and you can easily combine the, these colors and these colors with each other. So I think this, this makes sense. It's just that um, you've got a lot of same-ish type of shades. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it like this. So this is one palette. I, I think I'm going to leave the layout like this or am I going to switch? some stuff up maybe i'm going to put it in like this because this one is a tad darker than this one and i think this combination could be fun it's just that i don't know why i would put the gray one in here well i'm just going to put them in and we will see how it looks Ooh. the magnets and the palette are very sticky they are very strong so they're going to be nice and snug and safe in here i think it's so fun these these colors are seriously nothing um like i already have in my collection and i really like that about any brands um because you have some some very unique shades and some very unique formulas and i really really adore it if i look at like this and i see it in the viewfinder this palette looks stunning in my opinion it may look a little bit boring to some but to me this is really nice this is really full this is something i wear a lot and i think i can uh, combine some of the shades with the shimmers i already have in my collection so i'm really really happy with this this was also really fun um, to do to get all of these shades in and just make your own palette and um, I think it's nice that you have some space between the pans so you can get them out a little bit easier than if they would be very, very snug uh, together. So yeah, this is palette number one. And now I'm going to put these in. And I think I want to see how I want to do this. Um, I think this is really beautiful, like this. This makes a very, very cool, like um how do you call it it's not pink it's like a very mauvey sexy smoky look i think you can make with this these are just fun little shades you can combine i think this is not even really matte it's more of a satin it looks like more of a satin it has a bit of a sheen to it and then um i've got this one and this one these are a bit a little bit random but that's okay and then i put these together i don't know if i want to put them together like this i think so okay that was my husband i think i'm just going to leave it like this i think this is fine especially the bottom row i'm really happy with that bottom uh, row it looks really nice So this is the finished palette. I am really happy with this one as well. I really like the bottom row. As I said, I love these two colors. Okay, I am going to um, set up my camera in the normal fashion and I'm going to create a look using this palette because this is the one I'm most intrigued about. Okay, welcome back. I am going to start using this um, nice little palette I just built. Um, I will have put some timestamps on. I hope I... Didn't forget to mention that because if you don't want to see the unpacking and stuff then you can just jump into the look i have primed my eyes the way i usually do i used some uh, paint pot and soft ochre and then i set it with a little bit of the eyeshadow uh, pen i have been uh, trying to pen and now i am going to start and dig into this 
palette and I think I'm going to start I'm going to get a Sueva brush and I'm going to get the 228 one and I think I'm going to start with this shade um, I have no clue what it's called and I don't think I want to get them all I don't want to get them all out again that's annoying <laughs> that I didn't write those down but yeah this is the one I'm going to go into it has a bit of a kick up if you can see that as I said when I was swatching them these palettes or these shadows are just very um, loose and I think that's not a bad thing because I hope because of that they will blend very well so yeah I'm going to just start here oh yeah this is nice and I'm going to just start in my outer corner and work my way in. And I'm just blending that out upward. And I think this is a very nice shade uh, to start if you are going for a more full brown, uh, brownish type of look. This is a very nice shade to start with and they blend really nicely as I hope they would. So you start in the outer corner where you want the most pigment and then you just blend it out to where you want to go. If you notice something um, different about my background, you are noticing right. I am uh, rearranging my beauty room because there is a um, oven in here and I want to get rid of the oven. I'm going to make a very big desk and uh, make a filming space and a workspace or maybe even two filming spaces. So I have a ring light to take pictures with and do the overhead thing I was doing uh, with the um, uh, the assembling of the palettes and I uh, want a place where I can film and I'm so the background is going to change anyway I'm going to make this all looking uh, new and fresh and no well, at least new I don't know how fresh just new so yeah that's what is going on if you want me to record the process then please let me know in the comments I might do that I might not because it's such a hassle to think of filming and you know, um, I already, I think it's a hassle to just be um, rearranging your house. And if you have to do that with um, also filming it, that's a bit of a thing. So, but if you really want me to record it, then please let me know. Then I certainly will. I'm going into this orangey shade, this one. It's very bright now, <laughs> but it's um, a very nice, like very light tangerine type of a, uh, um, a shade and I'm going to put this in the inner part of my crease I'm going to tap off the brush because it picks up a lot and I'm a bit afraid that it's going to be too uh, bright no it isn't these colors show up really nicely guys I'm really pleasantly surprised by that all right we got our crease work laid down so I think I'm going in with the green um, and I'm a bit uncertain how I will do this I think I'm going to start um, with this shade I'm going to get a brush because it looks a little bit more put together I'm going I think I'm going to start with this like army green type of color and I'm going to put this on the end and then I'm going to put this one on the lid and this in the inner corner. And I think I'm going to deepen it up with this one. So we've used like four, five, six shades. And maybe something different on the lower lash line. We are going to, I'm going to put this, my brush in this one. Ooh, very, uh, a lot of kick up. So I'm going to start off in my outer, oh yes. You know what I love about these colors is that they're very true to color. So if you put them on your eye, it's the same color as you see in the pen. And I really adore that. What I've learned from Angelica when you work with like um, uh, colorful eyeshadow and especially colorful eyeshadows that are not very easy to formulate. Um, and you want a lot of pigment out of them. So you want the va -va -voom kind of effect. Then you should start stamping and then blend because then you got the most pigmentation. And if you um, blend away a bit of the color like I did right here, then you just take your brush, put it in and just stamp a little bit more on in that place you want to put it. So yeah, I think it was a very good um, 
tip of first because usually I just start blending and then I'm like, why doesn't it look the same color? Because you blended it out. You just have to stamp them on and then blend. And I think this is a very perfect little color. It's very, very fall-like. It's very foresty green. I love it. Um, and I think it's a good thing that I'm going to deepen it up. So yeah, I'm glad I chose this route. Then I'm going to get a Smith brush. It's the Arrowhead one. It's the 253 uh, one. And I'm going to go into the green shade next to the one I was using right now. I'm going to see if it wants to focus. Yeah, that one, that one. And my battery is dying. Just a sec, guys. Okay, I'm back. My battery is changed. So I'm going um, to continue with the Smith 53 brush. It's the Arrowhead one. Um, and I'm going to go into this shade. And um, I'm just going to put that on my lid. And I'm really curious what happened. Oh, wow. Hi. Hi. It's there, people. It's really there. It shows up. It's like almost a chartreuse type of a green. It's really cool. Okay. Pink. I'm really just packing this on. I'm not blending it very much. It doesn't really need to if you just stamp it on, I believe. And I'm just going to put that on the other side as well. Oh yeah, I need to blend it a little. Because <laughs> it won't. It needs to have a nice little gradient into the darker green as well. Okay, and then I want to uh, put the very light yellow shade in my inner corner. I'm going to use another Smith uh, Arrowheady 253. Is it a 253? Yeah, 253 brush. Going into this yellow one. It's really... This picks up a lot. <laughs> okay. Can you do this? Yeah, you can see me. Oh my god. I've got some fallout. Which is not really surprising, to be honest. And it is really, really like... It's like I took some lilies and there was some of the dust on the stamper of the flower and i put it on my eye that's the same color and i love it all right i am going to take a mac brush a mac 2 24s and i'm just going to blend a bit okay i'm going to use a deeper color this one and i'm going to just stamp it in the outer, most outer corner. Oh, well, that's very pretty. What I think is so cool is that even though it is like green on green on chartreuse and yellow, the colors really hold their own. They show up as their own color. I'm really deepening out this outer corner now. I think I'm done with the top part of my eye. I'm going to blend it a little bit more and I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm going to finish off the face and then I'm going to do the lower uh, lash line. So I will be back. Okay, I am back and I have finished uh, the rest of my face. I haven't put any lipstick on because I have uh, still some eczema. Um, yeah, and I, I just don't dare to put anything on there yet. So yeah, that's that. I'm sorry, I was checking my lights. I've used a concealer from Revolution and it's aging my under eye like you would not believe. So please ignore that. Um, we're going to finish up the eye. I have been um, playing around a bit with the lighter shade in this palette. This one. Um this one and uh, because i thought it would be nice to blend out these um orangey um like edges a little bit more i've done it on this side and it looks a lot more calmer than on the other side so i'm going to just dip in my brush tap it off and i'm going to use this as some sort of a highbrow uh, highbrow 
eyebrow highlight and um, just blend it all in a little bit more and I think that looks way better because it's less harsh and um, you can see that it blends beautifully so yeah this is kind of the finished thing from the top of the eye. So I'm going to do something about my lower lash line. Um, I'm not someone that likes to put a lot of stuff on my lower lash line. I don't think it looks uh, very beautiful if you drag it down too far. That's totally personal preference. If you do, then please do you. Um, but I'm not that type of person. So I am going to keep it a little bit simple. I'm going to start off with this shade I've been using in my crease just to yeah, lay the base for it really. Um, I'm just going to use a very small Morphe brush. I hope you can see this, I'm not dropping my head too much. And I'm just very slightly, but a bit of a color down. I think this looks nice. Now, I want to deepen it up a little bit, so I'm going to get a more precision brush going to use this Smith E65 uh, brush and I'm going to use the shade next to it, that's this one and I'm going to see what happens okay I hope you can follow along yeah this is nice because it has this very nice um, it's like a very, it's the same tone as the other one. It's just a lot more deeper and richer color. So I'm just going to continue. It's like a rusty color. I love it. And I'm stopping just shy of the, um, uh, of the uh, inner corner because I don't want to drag this all the way there. I kind of like this. I am debating if I should. Okay, this could totally ruin it. I'm just going to use a color switch and I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to get that. Um, not the deepest green, but this one. Mm, this one, are you? Yeah. I should have um, written down the names before I put them in the palette. Just put them on the back or something. I don't know. I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm going to just connect the most outer part to this most outer part of the uh, upper lid to the uh, outer part of my lower lash line and I'm not going to drag this very far just like this because I don't want that nice rusty brown to go away so this is all I'm doing but I think you have a nice more of a connection between the top look and the lower lash line so the the look you created on the uh, upper lid and the lower lash line are a little bit more connected like this i think i'm going to put on some mascara and then i will be back so i finished it all off i have a little bit of lipstick on my lips just a teensy bit just on the inside because it was really looking like foundation lips and i don't really appreciate that look so yeah this is the look i created um with the little cosmetics eyeshadows and um yeah in this little palette i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you have uh, a bit of an idea of how a little cosmetics shadows work I must say I am totally in love with this brand. I think I'm just going to get everything they offer because I have like two shimmers and I kept this in whole um, matte look, but I think this could be great with some nice little shimmers as well. So I'm going to check their website and see if there's anything I want to add to my collection. And you must think you're a crazy girl. You've got two full palettes, but still I, I'm so blown away by the quality of this stuff. And I'm so blown away by the unique colors they, they offer in their palettes. So yeah, I am going to definitely make another order and I will let you know when I did. And I'm just going to make another look with this. If you want to see more from Lethal Cosmetics, if you want to see a look with the other um, palette I've created, then uh, please let me know down in the description box and uh, let me know if you have tried the brand already and if you loving them as much as I am right now, please let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye.